Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 10th, 2020. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I also have courses over at Gumroad and I appreciate everybody who is supporting me on Patreon. If you would like to support me on Patreon, all of that information is in the description box below. Now, some of you are going to be super excited <laughs> because I brought back at least momentarily, the auto write. Reason why I did that, it just felt right. I can't guarantee I'll do that every week. Sometimes it just feels better to sit down and start letting the message come through. This feels like, we're just gonna dive right into it. In the coming weeks, more and more things are going to unravel. More and more things are going to be revealed. That's why I did the auto write because I wanted to just like get some of it down. Otherwise, we're going to be here for two hours just trying to get this whole thing through. Before I get into this, though, I, I am feeling like to really <laughs> emphasize being calm, okay, as much as you can. That's why we talk about do your spiritual practice. That's why we say make sure you're meditating and you're coming from a place of gratitude and you know all that good stuff. All right. So the first word that they had me write down was monsoon. Okay, well, <laughs> we know, I think that's the season for this, right? Uh, and then we have, uh, so it was monsoon, an arrow, tunnel, and tunneling. There is lawn work going on outside. If they get really close and if they start to get loud, we'll just, I'll edit that out, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so the first thing, like I said, they had me write down was monsoon, tunnel, tunneling, exceptions, reversals, turnabouts, nothing going according to plan. Expect ego testing, expect to be amazed. Now this is just starting right now, just cracking open right now. This is going to go on for probably until the end of the year. Revealing how the brain operates. We'll explain that here in a second. Seeing personalities and the changes behind them. Portaling, remote viewing, shield yourselves. You will be shown. You must keep ego away from your decisions, okay? Channeling your energies into play, movement, and creativity will help immensely. Deeper, I don't know what this is, internal. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and you've never seen me do an auto write, when I'm in the auto writing mode, I can't read my own handwriting sometimes. So bear with me here. Uh, yeah, we'll help immensely. Deeper internal shifts, celebrities revealed. So again, we'll get into it here. Heroes become villains. Villains are heroes. Pray for the children and we will deliver. Pray for yourselves from a place of gratitude. Revealings, little by little, earth changes, cracking open. So we've been talking about that. You guys know that's happening. They even mentioned monsoon. And then something about tunnel, tunneling. Um, this could be like literal, like something could be happening with a tunnel, a bridge. Um, I know there was a train derailment before, but that's not what I'm picking up on. There could be something that having to do with a tunnel. So be very careful about that. Or it could be, I mean, if we want to get really, 
feeling esoteric about it tunneling into uh, different realms, okay? Portaling into a different dimension. Now, again, I, I have some new people here, so if that sounds weird, <laughs> just hang with us here. We're going to discover, well, a lot of people already know that we are multidimensional beings, but I think what's going to end up happening is it's going to start becoming more mainstream, okay? Uh, that makes me happy and it makes me nervous. We see what happens when things, especially having to do with spirituality, go mainstream. They get cheapened a little bit. There's a reality show coming out. Can't wait for that one. Anyway, back to this. Uh, <laughs> uh, revealings little by little. Earth changes cracking open. Okay. Uh, and when in the vision, the vision, um, when this came up, and they had me write down cracking open. I actually saw light, right? So I saw light, I saw activity, I saw, so I don't know if that's metaphorical or it could literally mean like sinkholes, earthquakes, those types of things. But another sense, cracking open and something is revealed, okay? Uh, tunnels can be accessed now. Again, that's what made me think like multidimensional access or something. Uh, recesses of the mind, come forward, dear ones, and take your place. Michelle shall explain. I love when they <laughs> like address me and tell me to go ahead and explain. So let's start from the top. Uh, so monsoon. Monsoon can literally be weather. It can be emotions. It can be all those kinds of things. This whole theme of a tunnel coming up. So tap into your own intuition for you as individuals to see what that means for you, if you drive through a tunnel to go to work every day, if you don't feel like going to work that morning, don't go. All right. Again, this isn't just this coming week. This is just where we're able to start uh, unveiling this. Does that make sense? Okay. So it'll be going on for several weeks. I see trains too. Again, I know that train derailment already happened, but bridges, tunnels, that makes me think New York you know, because there's a lot of commuting from the outlying area uh, into the city. London. Let me fill this out. London feels more like, I don't know, like tempers rising. I don't want to use certain words because it's an energy that I'm reading. Some people don't get this. It's an energy that I'm reading and I as a human can try to interpret that for you. But I as a human can be wrong. And what if I just put fear in you for nothing, right? So the energy is something, yes, so I'm gonna speak very vaguely and we will see, all right? Just be on alert. Um, this could be people attacking one another. Um, infrastructure just crumbling. Okay. And please don't make that joke about London bridges, okay? <laughs> please, I don't think that's very funny at this time, all right? Um, I'm not saying that that exact thing will happen, but it has that feeling where things are getting torn down. Now, we have been talking about this for months now, that little by little, everything that's sort of in place will get torn down to make room for something new, all right? So be on alert for that. Uh, nothing. Okay. So here you go. Uh, reversals and turnabouts. So this has this sort of like shocking revelation of the people you thought were the enemies. They've been helping. And the ones we always saw as the heroes, the stars, it says celebrities revealed. We find out what's been going on. And then of course there's pray for the children and we will deliver. A lot of people like to say, well, why don't the angels and archangels just come forward and hell. The way I understand it is that we've got this whole story set up and the, the ego has basically short circuited. And so it's, it's on a path of disaster, really. It's malfunctioning. And we have to be accountable for making the change within this human realm. I've said numerous times that angels cannot help you without your permission. And of course, as with everything, especially on the internet, everybody loves to argue and say, no, 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 no. Um, okay, angels can jump in, okay? <laughs> if it's really going against your path, 
for whatever is about to happen, they can jump in and help. But for the most part, we as humans, we're here to figure this out on our own. So we can't keep shoving the accountability off onto our angels and our spirit guides and say, well, just figure things out for me, right? We need to do that for ourselves. And so we need to step up and put energy towards saving the children in the world and making sure that, and I'm going to say it, that they don't have an existence the way that we have experienced, the way that they don't grow up hating the way that we were taught to hate, okay? So that if they have been programmed, and you know what kind of programming I'm talking about here, we can help them undo that. But we're not going to realize how to do that until we heal ourselves from what we've experienced. Okay, so let's keep going with that. Uh, nothing going according to plan. If you're big into whining, I'm like that sometimes. <laughs> Donor, why can't I just get, why can't I just go back, me? You know, that whole thing. Um, <laughs> we better knock it off because we, uh, we need to be on alert here. Not in fear, not anxious, focused, okay? Uh, expect ego testing, right? So there's that thing where like nothing's going the way I want it to, therefore blah, you know? So <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're just gonna have to cool it a little bit, right? Expect to be amazed. So this is one of those things where it's like, just like how 2020 has been thus far, I mean, it's gonna be more things popping off, okay? And didn't see that coming. Some of it we can fathom, like we won't know it until it's here and then go, oh, well, okay, yeah, I guess we should have seen that coming. And then there are other parts of it where it's sort of like we knew, but we, we didn't know to that extent. We didn't know that it was that deep. We didn't know that it went that far. Okay, you feel me on that? Revealing how the brain operates. Seeing personalities and the changes behind them. So there is something, um, I just heard infected again. I think that came up last week where we're kind of being infected. And that is causing all of these uh, changes in our personality, changes in how we see the world, you know, feeling like we're in a lower energy, feeling like we just can't keep up, we can't keep going. Again, burnout, complete burnout. But this is also, as I've been saying for years, people denying a part of their soul light, and then that gets filled up by fumes of fear, darkness. Why aren't people nicer to one another? We're going to start seeing there's a big reason behind it. And it's not necessarily the people themselves. There's something that has been deeply affecting us and changing our personalities, turning us against one another. Okay. So this something will come up to the surface now. Maybe I don't know that it's going to be like headline news. This is really going to be you having to get honest with yourself, right? So maybe you say, you know what? I do have a me first kind of attitude. Why is that? Well, maybe, maybe <laughs> you say, well, because I'm entitled. Yikes, narcissism. Um, or you might say, well, because I never had enough growing up or um, I always felt like my boundaries were crossed and therefore I'm very territorial and um, I might jump to conclusions before anything happens, you know, these sorts of things. So really give some time, but do it gently. Okay. That's coming up big time. All right. So do it very gently so that you're not overloading yourself because there's, there are going to be things happening outside of us that we're, they're just going to start getting revved up this week. Okay. Real changes are still to come. Okay. And I laugh a little uncomfortably because I can feel the energy behind this. It does have a feeling of just hang on, just hang on and be there for one another as much as we can be, okay? And that can just be a phone call. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, right? So just a phone call will do it. All right, where were we? Do, 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 do. This might even be having new scientific studies or something coming out this would be mainstream then, uh, where it's showing neural pathways, how the brain has been affected by certain things. Um, I want to say pesticides, but 
that feels, you know what? I, I thought pesticides and then I thought the 80s, the 1980s. So this might be something where if you, if your mother was carrying you in the 80s, right? Some sort of pesticide or something she was taking in, we're discovering it has this one effect. Now, does it feel like it's detrimental and like, oh my gosh, that's the end? No, no, nothing like that. But it's, it's sort of like, ooh, oh wow. Okay, that wasn't the best idea kind of thing, right? So it's okay if you were born in the 80s, you'll be all right. <laughs> you will be all right, but you might start getting to the bottom of uh, why you have some of the health issues that you do. Or if you do suffer from some sort of mood disorder, personality disorder, we're gonna, something is, we're connecting the dots. That's how I wanna put it. All right, and then we get into this weird thing about portaling, this is where it gets fun, right guys? Okay, portaling remote viewing. That means you are being viewed. So that's where it says shield yourselves, but portaling. Now, I have met and heard stories from a lot of people who they claim that they are doing remote viewing or whatever. Be careful with that. You do not want to go against someone else's free will, all right? So just for practice and for funsies, you're creeping on your friend who's just trying to make a snack, okay? And like, <laughs> call up your friend and be like, were you just wearing yellow shorts and making a sandwich? I mean, I would stop being friends with you. I really would. I'd be like, you're creepy. No, back up, all right? <laughs> so, <laughs> just kidding. But don't, but don't be, you gotta be responsible about this stuff, okay? And that also means, let me tell you this, if we're going into portals, if we if we are dimension hopping, if we're doing those kinds of things, and you do not shield yourself before you do it, do you know how many clients I have coming to me saying my energy is all scrambled and I'm scared, or things that they're not even aware that they're saying? And why is that? It's because you know this energy is real. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not there, right? It's real, and so we have to take it very, very seriously whatever it is that you're doing. Now, I feel like some of you are watching you're in your 60s and 70s and you're like, meh, I've been doing this. For you are not the same being that you were just last year. You have to relearn this too, all right? This is stuff that none of us have ever accessed before. Well, we have, but we're not aware of it right here, right? As humans, right? This is the first time that we're opening up and accessing this. So be very, very careful with this. This is not a game. I repeat, this is not a game, okay? Okay, be shown. Oh, things are being revealed, yeah. You must keep ego away from your decisions. So everything, you know what I realized? Like every time I do this now, it got like a deep shadow on my face. I forgot to take that into account when I'm doing auto rights. I'll get better, okay. Um, <laughs> but keep, you know, like if you're gonna make a decision about a relationship or, um, you know, a job, you know, taking a job just because it has some prestige behind it. Or, you know, I hear this all the time too. I'm gonna write a book, I'm gonna write a book, I'm gonna write a book, why are you writing a book? Because I just wanna be famous. Um, no, that's not where we are anymore. Did you get the memo? When you're doing that, okay? So now, nah. <laughs> right? so be aware of that. Channeling your energies into play. So have fun. I know there's gonna be stuff rock and rolling all around us. Uh, pretty, you know, kind of crazy things even happening. It's gonna get heavy. So that's why they're telling you to keep keep in your joy, okay? Movement, be moving your body, however that is for you and creativity, take on creative projects. This will help keep you very balanced. And it even says here, it will help you immensely. And then we have heroes become villains. Villains are heroes. Pray for the children and we will, and we will deliver. Pray for yourselves from a space of gratitude, revealings little by little. It's happening. Fall is going to be Fall is going to be, um, I think, so extraordinary in what is revealed that we don't approach anything the same way. It does kind of feel, mm, guys, it's all kinds of things. It's all kinds of things. And 
what is the steady constant? You, me, human beings. We have control over how we process things. And that is why our ego is being tested right now because the ego will scream and holler and kick and scream and say, unfair, 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 right? But if you're steady, if you have your energies balanced, you're going to start understanding the quantum field, right? There's going to be things revealed about that uh, and how that has us operating as human beings, okay? Um, deeper internal shifts. So that goes along those celebrities revealed, did all that. Um, tunnels can be accessed now. But do not do this from an ego standpoint. Do you know how many people like, you know, try to use like spiritual tricks to, to gain something for themselves? Or do you know what I'm saying? We got to stop that. We got to gotta be from a place of integrity in everything that we're doing. Okay. Recesses of the mind. Come on forward. So come on forward and be your authentic selves. Before we get on to the cards, let me just say more to come on this. Um, I think I will be batch filming today. Again, I did that last week. Um, you know, maybe I'll just continue on to next week. Uh, you may see me change up my shirt or something just so the thumbnail's a little bit different. Maybe I can get away with doing next week's too, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, cause I want to get a continuation on that message. I'm also going to be doing some quick little overviews about Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, do those little by little, and uh, the law of attraction, because I think it's good for us to just always come back and touch base every once in a while about that. All right, so let's get on to the cards. All right, so let's see what we have here for this coming week. Yeah, don't be surprised. I, I just feel like because so much is happening now, don't be surprised if I do kind of record a couple of videos where they kind of flow into one another. We'll do that. Oh, nice. We're creating a whole new picture. Okay. We're creating a whole new picture. This is about manifesting. Yeah. I got to film that video. I'll, I'll do that for us all. <laughs> all right. So ocean Jasper schedule yourself in. So this is really telling you to learn how to cope. And I don't mean coping by having some sort of vice. Okay. I'm talking, where can we make the best out of things? If, you know, a couple days ago, I had kind of like a tired, like low energy day. My mood was kind of off. And, you know, I just allowed myself to watch some funny shows, watch some of my favorite YouTubers, you know, like I'm really into like watching resin art videos because <laughs> it's so relaxing. Like they're pouring the resin and the paint pours and all that stuff. I don't know. It's just very soothing to me. But uh, this Ocean Jasper is saying, if you believe everything that you have been told, then you will create a reality that is not in resonance with who you are. Schedule yourself in, says take a break from what you think you need to do and start scheduling in things that could actually make you happy. All right. And getting into a different frequency and let the ego go. I was uh, speaking with somebody and uh, <laughs> this is somebody who's like at a distance from me. Um, we hadn't spoken in a while and we're connecting. And this person, it was interesting. This person at every turn was trying to diminish and bring down my energy. And, you know, making snide remarks about things. I'm shuffling down here. I got my, still with my corded microphone. Sorry, it works. So <laughs> that's what I use, but it gets in the way. It's just right here, right in the middle. Um, and this person just kept trying to diminish my energies. And I finally woke up and went, there's a reason why we're not talking. And it's because you're always trying to throw other people down so that you feel better about yourself. And I didn't feel bad about walking away from that person yet again. And this time it was for good. And is that sad? Sure. But this is that kind of thing. You know, if we believe that we're the bad ones when we set boundaries, then people will always walk all over us. If you're one of those enablers, if someone is being obnoxious and you're like, oh, let it go. 
it's fine, whatever. Then those people continue to walk all over others. We're shifting, we're shifting, and we all need to be on board with this, okay? Creating a whole new picture. <sighs> if we don't get our egos in check, there could be some very tumultuous things happening and it would be humans harming other humans. That in and of itself is very evil, but I'm hearing backlash, like someone's wanting to get back at somebody and they just, the word is heinous. It's heinous. Now, we're talking about this in August. Do you want to change it? Then change it. I don't know how, you do know how to do it. You close your eyes and you breathe and you open your heart and you bring that light in. You have to bring the light in. We all have to do that. Because if we don't, we're going to keep helping a story that isn't ours. We're gonna keep building up some force or whatever the heck it is and not doing what we came here to do. Human beings are loving, but something's trying to make us forget that. Don't allow it. So the next card we have here is Red Jasper. So we had, oh, look at all this Jasper here. We had Ocean Jasper, now we have Red Jasper. Take action, get grounded and take action. It's exactly what we were just saying, okay? Let's get another card here. Carnelian, feed your creativity. This is a fiery crystal as well. <laughs> this is us taking action and creating a whole new story. Creating a whole new story and healing, especially the sacral chakra. Make sure you are healing your sacral chakra. That would deal with your emotional body, sexuality, what do you want to give birth to in your life. And for some of you, that could be fertility issues as well. Okay, so here's our chance. But this is, again, fiery. It's, it's uh, can I say Martian kind of energy? It's drive. It's ambition. But learning to refocus that ambition instead of just blindly plowing and putting our energy into things that we've been told matter, but we're realizing, no, don't. <laughs> that actually doesn't matter what my job title is. Okay. Then we have, look at this. So I say Shungite. I don't know if that's how y'all would pronounce it, but here we are. Uh, Shungite, detox your life. See, we're having to get away from this old story. We are having to break out and break away from that old energy. Okay, so I don't think I need to say any more about that. I think pretty self-explanatory. Let's get to the other deck here. And I brought over the botanical one, which I also have a hard time pronouncing, but that's fine. We'll just get through, right? <laughs> I'll go up here. We'll just get one card from here because we had a pretty big message. And I want to get into filming the other videos as well. There it is. Oh, pretty. Tranquility. Stone crop and Apollo. If I remember correctly, one is the... I think the first one's the flower name and the second one is the butterfly name. But here it is. We need to find our centers. We need to stop pushing. We need to stop trying to achieve, achieve, achieve. And for some people, that's trying to achieve on other people, right? So uh, making your whole life a popularity contest instead of, you know, so it's like a quantity over quality kind of feeling. And this is asking us to just Lay low. So I know some of you are going to say, we have all that fiery energy and it says take action and it's like tranquility. Think about what that creates when you put the two together. It's calm focus. It's I know where we need to go or I know what I need to do. Stop bossing each other around, by the way. Okay. I've seen a lot of that where people are just like throwing out how they think the world should be. And that's 
because I say it, so it is, you know, kind of thing. And yes, we, we have manifestation powers here, but this really does come down to us having, like I said, that focus calm. That way we actually know how to proceed, okay? So we can do so with integrity, with love, and affect real change, okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and record next week's. We'll see how it goes, <laughs> all right? So I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Thank you.